Let's run this up, baby. The 1.5 million pay-per-views, baby. Yes. Let's do it. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 1.5. A lot of money. 1.5. That's nice. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of boxing. Yes. Listen, man, we got two great fighters right here, man. Right. We got Canelo. We got Edgar. Listen, man, Edgar, I'm going to go with you first now. I call you the stoppage. You be stopping shit. You know, how you feel going into this fight? Um, 22 wins, 17 knockouts. It don't, people don't last that long in a room ring with you. How do you feel going into this fight? What is your plans? You know, what do you plan to do? Um... He's a legend, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is a time for me to, um, you know, make greatness happen. You know what I'm saying? It's September 14th. He's seen a lot of, he's seen a lot already. You know what I'm saying? And I said this before, he fought Triple G. He fought Floyd. He fought Bivo. He fought bigger guys. But what I know is that it's this. There's nothing physical about this fight. You know what I'm saying? It's all this. It's mental. It's the intelligence. And that's what's going to make the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, everybody keeps saying about the power, about all oh, you big, you strong. It's cool. He's powerful, he's strong too. He could punch too. You know what I'm saying? But it's about the mentality, the IQ. And that's just all, all it is for September 14th. I see you, I see you, I see you approaching this fight, which I see, um, him being a legend. It's a lot of respect. Where did that come from? Just, I mean, you know, with him, he's a he's a legend, bro. Like, I've been, like I said, bro, I've been manifesting this shit. For, for a long time, man. You know, people out there know I used to talk about it. Like, yo, that guy right there, we're gonna fight one day. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know when. I maybe, I probably thought like, yo, we probably not even gonna take, we probably not, never gonna fight, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's getting older, you know what I'm saying? He making that bag, he fucking niggas up, you know what I'm saying? And he probably gonna get out the door one of these days, but you know, the time came, man, and I'm, I'm just happy and I'm grasping everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's just time for me to uh, become a legend. Okay. Like himself. Canelo. People was begging on Benavidez. They was begging for Terrence Crawford. What made you pick this young lion right here? I think I picked him because he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, a strong fighter, young fighter. And he's Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Always history for, for boxing. And I think it's, it's a good fight for, for, for the people. Berlinga, Edgar, I'm being honest. Not too many people in the media is giving you a shot. Oh, of course, I know. They saying it's too early. We, we did an interview with, with, with Javante Davis and we did an Frank interview Martin. with Frank Martin. And Tank sat here and told Frank, it's too early. You should have waited. You took this fight too early. To the people that are saying it's too early, Edgar, you shouldn't have took this fight. What do you got to say to that? I've been boxing since I was seven, bro. I've been, I was born into this shit. And I seen that interview. Where when Tank said that Frank Martin is a fighter that he just started boxing a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the sport since seven years old, you feel me? So it's different. You know, right now is the time, you feel me? I'm not, we're not stepping back. We got the opportunity and we're taking it, you feel me? And we're going up against a legend. So that's the most important thing. And it's crazy. I really dreamed about all of this shit, man. Like everything that's going on right now, I dreamed of it, you know what I'm saying? And stepping in front of him, man, is just, you know, another day. But you know this is the biggest. Of course. This is the biggest in the game. Of course. This ain't, this is, this is 33% of Mexico is watching when he fight. Of course. All eyes gonna be on mm -hmm. you that night. He's used to the big stage. He's been doing the big stage for years. I'm talking about he's used to coming out in front of 40, 50, 60,000. Of course. But everybody gotta get, get their feet wet, right? He got his feet wet. The only way to do it is I gotta be in that position. You know what I'm saying with him. I gotta, you gotta, you gotta put me in there. You feel me? It's either you gonna, you gonna, how, how they say that? You gonna either sink or swim. You feel me? And with me, man, you know, he, he, where I'm at, he was at before. You know what I'm saying? He didn't point. just get there. Just by, by automatically, boom, forty thousand people. No, he gotta work his way up, right? Okay. But it just so happened that God blessed me with his opportunity so quick, man. And you know, that's why everybody hating. So I Benavidez is hating, bitch ass, his pops, morale, these guys, man. They wanted the opportunity. 
They never got it. They crabs, you know what I'm saying? So we just got the opportunity, man. We gotta make the best of it. Is it gonna be a stoppage? No, you stop shit. Nah, I never, yeah, but I never. You stop shit. Yeah, but I never, all my fights, I don't like predicting nothing, you know what I'm saying? I just know it's gonna be fireworks. That's all I say every time. Now, Canelo, 65 fights, Mm. two draws, two losses, 39 knockouts. All the money, all the cars, everything you want, beautiful family. What motivates you to keep going? Why do you keep going? I love boxing. I love what I do. I I still enjoy my training camp, camps. I enjoy boxing. I love this. I enjoy a lot this. So and I I want to continue make history because I want to put my name in, in in a big stage in a big uh, in a big position uh, for my history. So and I still enjoy it. I love what I do. The fight. It's on the same day as UFC. And um, the turkey said something about, Saudi said something about that. The UFC numbers is gonna crush the boxing numbers. No, it's not. I don't believe that. I believe Canelo Alvarez is the biggest in the world. It's just different. It's different, right? Yeah, maybe other boxing match, maybe. But why, Canelo why not this boxing match? Why not yours? Huh? You say maybe other, why not yours? Like why? Other, like, no, other this diff- kind of fights, but Canelo is just different. Different. I don't care if he's the UFC there. It's when Canelo fights, he's different. I like how you're talking about yourself in third person. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Canelo do something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this question. To this date, what was your hardest fight? I have a lot, a lot of them, but I think uh, my difficult fight uh, was with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd obviously. Mayweather. Um, hardest fight with Golovkin, maybe. Golovkin. Yeah. Who was the hardest puncher you faced? Look, everybody can say Golovkin, but I, I never feel that that bad like Kirkland. Kirkland hit like, I hit my arms and feel like a rocks yeah <laughs> and i said you know i need to finish this guy right now because he's gonna be he's gonna bring me all that fight around so right. so let me ask you this question because you you look like a relatively small guy but you fighting at 168 175 you're putting them down like but you don't look as big as Edgar mentally that's 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 the difference. Yeah, and when you feel the power, it's different. That's the little but pack a big punch. Yeah. That's the difference. That's the difference. Thirty nine. I told you what I told you. Mental game. It's you know, there. That. You know a lot of talent. You know. You know. They don't see any outside in bo- uh, of the ring, but uh, when they come into the ring, it's just they see everything. Oh, now I know why. Oh, so when they sit there and they watch you on TV. Oh, the ACC, ACC, ACC. Yeah. Ah, and I can do it. Then. When they, they, they step get in the, the ring, ring, they see why he's, why I'm Canelo Alvarez. Absolutely. Now, now, early in your career. This episode of Me and Osworth a Game is brought to you by DraftKings. World of slot reels and blackjack deals come the must-play event of the summer from DraftKings Casino. Featuring nonstop action on all-star cast of games, including A-Lister, Loki's luck this summer blockbuster is one you won't want to miss. See, me personally though, when I play DraftKings, I like to play I like to play the craps table. You know, that's just one of my favorites. I don't want on a run that was so vicious. I'm talking about number after number after number after number. But that's just me. You you know, DraftKings, you could bet, you could play baseball, you know, Right now, the, the Olympics is on. You know, you could do uh, uh, tennis, blackjack, slots, craps table, whatever you want, DraftKings got. That's why I love DraftKings so much. But plus, new players can get $100 instantly in casino credits with just $1 wager. Think about that. You can get $100 in casino credits with just a $1 wager, and all players get a blockbuster bonus every week. So sign up with the code Gilly, G-I-L-L-I-E. Whip out your phone right now, DraftKings, code Gilly, G-I-L-L-I-E. 
and grab your popcorn. It's showtime. It's DraftKings Casino. Right. People went different ways. You went with Oscar. People went to P- another way. PBC way. PBC yeah. way. Do you think if you would have went a different way early, you would have been like, what do you think would have happened if you would have just that time? When you chose before? Oscar over PBC, you went with Oscar. Do you think if you would have chose PBC? I, I think I would have do better with PBC. Way better. I do good things with Golden Boy and, and I'm not mad with that, but I, I think we'd be better with PBC. Is that the reason why you came over to PBC now? Yeah, I, I like to work with everybody, yeah, everybody. but right now yeah. I'm working with PBC and I'm glad to, to have the opportunity to work with them. Yeah, because I know that I'm, you- I'm glad to, to do business with all and yeah. everybody. See, one thing about you, you did business with uh, Oscar, you did business with Eddie. Now you're doing business with Al, so- I'm you, my own boss. You're your own boss, absolutely. How do you feel, Edgar? You know, East Coast, East Coast, West Coast a little different. East Coast, a lot of Puerto Rican. Where we from? Philadelphia, New York. Um, how do you feel knowing you got PR like on your back, man? You it's got amazing, in New man. York City, NP. This is yeah. that's like how do you feel like? It just feel this is like whoa, this is a lot of pressure. No, no, no. Um, it feels good, man. You know, um, one thing about me, right? That I got Puerto Rico, but I also got the hip hop culture. Yes, you, you know do. What I'm saying yeah. I got both, and that's why I got the best of both worlds. You feel me? So I think. It's a good feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's I, li- I like to have challenges like that, bro. You know, like I like I like having that, having an island behind me, having the haters talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Having New York behind me, like that's something I dreamed of. You feel me? And and I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't step back now. Like I got it. It's here. That's it. You feel me? Now you just gotta make it happen. You mentioned Benavidez as one of your haters. Like you, you. Your energy change. Yeah. What's that about, man? Nah, it's just, you know, with him, right? His father's a crab and he's a crab, you know what I'm saying? And he's a dude that he talks so much shit, you know what I'm saying? And his father's a crab because his father's a, he's not a good person. His father's the type of person that he'll he'll, he'll be with y'all. And he'll be like, yo, million dollars work. Y'all the, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all the fucking best, bro. Oh my. And then he'll go leave the door and be like, yo, these guys are pieces of shit. Fuck this guy, you know what I'm saying? And he did it to me after his fight. I went into the MGM, walked in, everybody jumping on me. His father there talking mad shit about me. As soon as I pull up, I'm like, yo, what up? He's like, oh, oh this is this little champ right here, man. Oh my God, he's a good fighter, man. And one of the brothers that knew me was like, yo, you just talking mad shit about this thing. Yo, you're a fake dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's the type of people they are. You know? I mean, you don't look at it as though as Canelo right now is the biggest fight for everybody. Of course, of course. And everybody. You're all fighters, so I don't think nobody's scared to fight nobody. I think everybody's trying to get to the bag. This the bag sitting right here. This the money <laughs> right here. Everybody want the big money fight. You happy as shit <laughs> he picked you. You like, because win, lose, or draw, you know you're changing your family's life. Yeah, but it's different, bro. Like, people think it's payday, man. Like. The money's cool, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm big on legacy, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And my biggest fear is, is losing. That's the difference, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's why I get tight. I hear these people saying payday. I'm not a crab, bro. I'm not a nigga that, that chase money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this what he we gave me, He gave me the opportunity, you feel me? He yeah. gave me the, and I worked hard for this. Absolutely. And he gave me the opportunity, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? But it's a payday. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The money's there. The bag is there September right. 14th. Like, right. that's there already, you feel me? Now it's about... Stamping my name in boxing. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by PFL, Professional Fighters League. The PFL playoff continues on Friday, August the 16th with light heavyweight and lightweights headed to Hollywood, Florida. It's win or go home as fighters compete for a spot in the million dollar PFL World Championship. Don't miss the action Friday, August 16th on ESPN and ESPN Plus. For those looking to attend in person, tickets are available on Ticketmaster. So make sure if you're trying to be there, see it in person, it goes down at the uh, PFL. As you've seen in the past, I've been to quite a few shows and they get busy, man. The best action in the game, PFL. If you're looking to attend, make sure you get your tickets. They're available right now on Ticketmaster. Tune in on Friday, August 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN and ESPN Plus. And tickets, once again, are available 
at Ticketmaster. Make sure you get yours. PFL, the Professional Fighters League, the fastest growing MMA in the business. Right. Because, little, you know, whatever, you know, saying, you know, for me, but it's, it's more after that, you feel me? I'm trying to get to where he at. If the 50, 100. Now, Canelo, do you think boxing would be much better or different if, two minutes, if fighters had to fight people in order instead of picking who they wanted to fight? Do you think it would be better? Look, at some point, all the fighters did. Mm -hmm. De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Everybody did this. When you in... It's their levels mm -hmm. and as their their stars and superstars, mm -hmm. okay, and and they made the championship, not the championship made them. Mm -hmm. So it's way different, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I I come and I do my 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 career and I fight with Coro and and with a Klaus. Mm -hmm. And I fight with Mayweather with the Klaus, mm -hmm. and I and I fight with everybody to build my Canelo Alvarez. I I am right now. I can do whatever I want. Right. And I don't wanna. And it's not gonna come one one uh, the the IVA. Hey, you need to fight with this because they. Who's in school? Right. Right. I never hear about him. Uh, just when they say, hey, this is your mandatory. Yeah. I never hear about him. Right. I don't wanna do whatever they want. Right. Because you worked hard I'm enough to do, do what you want. want. Yes. In this position, I, I I can do whatever I want. Because you put the time, you put because the work. Because I I, I I deserve it. Absolutely. Because all I did. Absolutely. Like they say, hey, you don't you don't want to fight Golovkin? I fight him. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lara, mm -hmm. I fight mm -hmm. Callum Smith, mm -hmm. Billy Osander, mm -hmm. Caleb Plant, Throw, Mayweather, Coro. Bivo. Bivo, yeah. everything. I did and everything. And now Belanga. And now him, but I, like I say, I, I did everything, and now I, I can ask whatever I want. Absolutely. And I, I, I can do whatever I want. Just know what's going down September 14th, the oh, biggest fight in yes. boxing. The legend, Canelo. Hold on, Alvarez. one more question. Can, you, can I fight you? Uh, I'm gonna thinking about it. <laughs> Y'all see it? I'm next. I he, mean, he'll get knocked out for $2 million. Dollars. Listen, I'm going to fight B first. I got to, me and B going to fight. We're going to go back later. I, mean, I don't know what he might do to me, but hopefully take it easy on me because I'm only from down the road. Don't, don't, no body work, please. September 14th, September 14th the biggest man. fight in boxing. Canelo Alvarez versus Anga Belenga. I also want to say my Philly guys are on there. Cool boy Steph, Steph Danny Garcia. Garcia. Tune in, Amazon Prime, September 14th. Caleb, Caleb Plant is also on there, my guy. Tune in, September 14th. Thank you, Legend. Thank you, Legend.